Welcome, welcome. So, you know, fall is here, and I told you I have fallen in love with so many of the clothes. I just have so much enjoyed, and the next best thing to enjoying them is to share them with you. So I'm going to share this one. I'm gonna tell you the journey, and then we'll see how it works. I'm hopeful that my little numbers work and that you can understand what I'm doing. <laughs> I've mapped it all out for you. I hope it's clear. Let's start with the inspiration. So I'm signed up for probably every clothing line out there. I get all their new fall stuff. This is from The Row. Uh, Mary, Kate and, um, Mary Kate and Ashley Olson created a line years ago. It's, it's a beautiful line of clothing called The Row. Um, I watch it all the time. It's very high end. It's beautiful fabrics. It's cashmere wool, just beautiful, clean lines. Very, very pretty. So this wrap came out. You can see by this photo that this wrap um, is $1,200. And it was a pre-order is what this email was. I could pre-order it and get it before it was unavailable. All right, so I want you to look at this close-up picture. Now what I've done is so that we, if this is kind of like a, origami paper folding. <laughs> it's gonna be easy, but we're just gonna to have to pay attention. And you don't have to get it right now. Recognize I've done all the numbers and all the, I've done it all. So all you have to do is, um, once you go to do it, if you decide to do it, once you go to do it, just follow the numbers at that time. And it's just very easy because I've made it easy, okay? It wasn't easy to figure out. It's taken me a while. Um, so I want you to just see the features of it. You can see the buttons. We're gonna call this A, where these buttons go up. You can see from this diagram, it's still up. And this side over here is called C. This whole side is A, but this side where it meets it is, is C. This side down here has buttonholes and it's B. And then the hem, it's kind of um, angular in the back, is called D. And you only have A, B, C, and T. <laughs> There's only four sides. So see, it can't be that hard. So what I love about it is just how weird it is. And you guys know I love weird. So this is weird and I just really like it. The fabric is new up. Um, I don't remember the number, sorry. Um, but it's new up, and but we put up a whole bunch of new fabrics, and they're all good for this. They're all great knits. They're all really good. You could use heavy knits. You can use lighter knits. Um, if you look again at this inspiration, keep looking there. Notice that the shirt underneath, I love the monochromatic look, and the, the sweater underneath is the same color. Well, I've already made the shirt underneath. I'm not wearing it yet because it's one of the new patterns, and Tuesday night for our fall forecast, I'll have it underneath and so you'll kind of see the whole effect but I did the um, Bailey's cowl neck it's pattern number 320 so I'd already done the underneath and I love this fabric and I thought I would do it for this wrap okay Arden wrap okay so I just want to show you a quick picture of the back just kind of what it looks like all right now we get into the meat of it all so what I'm going to do is take this undone and I'm going to show you how I did it and hopefully we, I can get it back together. It's my only concern, but it's a real test. If I can't, I can't. Okay, so I'm just gonna unbutton everything and we're gonna lay it out. We've got this photo. We're gonna keep this photo up the whole time so that we can see what we're doing. All right, so here we go. We're laying it out. And I'm gonna lay it out exactly like the photo has for you. So it becomes very easy for you to see. I'm gonna use one yard of fabric. All right, one yard. Okay, that's laid out just like the diagram now. Okay? So you're looking at the diagram and you can see that across the bottom, I left the selvage. You don't have to, you could have all sides. I just decided to leave the selvage. And that edge is 30 inches. So you're first gonna cut your yard and you're gonna cut your yard 36 and you're gonna cut it by 36. Now, if you have an inch hem, the numbers I'm giving you are finished. So you'll wanna cut it 
an inch extra on this side and an inch extra on this side. So that'd be 37, 38. This is using a selvage, so I didn't need any here, and you'll wanna cut it an inch extra there also. So just now the numbers I've given you are finished, not with seam allowance. Okay, so across the bottom is the selvage, it's measuring 30, then you go straight up, it's a right angle, and you go 36, that's C. You got B here, you got C here. You got A with all the buttons. There's 11 buttons on that edge, just space them evenly. And then you're gonna come in at an angle, that's 34 inches across that edge, you can see it on there, and then you join it back to this. This side right here is straight, this side's at the angle. Just like that photo, very easy to do. But just know it's A, B, C, D. <laughs> a, B, C, D. I guess I could have named it A anyway. I don't know why I did that. A and B are opposite and C and D are opposite. Somehow I figured that would be easier. I'm not sure how. But anyway, you know, it's funny because sometimes I figure these out and someone said, well, why don't you just do this? It's like, oh, that would have been so much easier. So just know that I'm sure you may come up with an easier way, but this was just what I came up with. Okay, so then I finished it, and when you do this, just do it right by this page. You can print this page out or screenshot it, whatever you have to do. So just finish your edges, put your buttonholes. You've got one, two, three, four buttonholes at B, and they're on there. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven along this edge, and just space them however you want. And then your 11 buttons over there, this is the hem, so it doesn't have any. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, I'm gonna put up this picture, and we'll, we'll kinda, we can do it side by side or either way, just we'll put up this picture again. And if you notice side A is the fourth button from the bottom, four buttons from the bottom are showing, so it's the fifth button that's here, and if you bring side C into it, remember they're opposites, um, and so this right here buttons into this right here. Okay, so this is the bottom of C. And you know, I mean, you can just literally mark them until you have them. I've been playing with it for a while. So you're gonna button, you can see there's four buttons buttoned. Now I have not had time to play with it. I'll bet you could do it a whole bunch of different ways and button it different ways and do all that stuff. But just take the bottom, it's the bottom of um, B, or the bottom of C, I don't care, however you say it, and button it, leave the first four buttons undone of A, the first four bottom, button the next four, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put it on. You're going to just slip it over your head. Okay? And A, it goes straight like this. All right, there it is. See, you got a tail over here. I love it. It's so cute. And I'm sure you can do this all differently. This portion of A that comes up here, it just kind of folds back. So this fabric I did has a black back, and I really like it. I just used our little cheap black buttons. I really just wanted to see if they work. I really want to substitute them with either a, a richer looking button, like a bone button. I mean, these are these work. You can see they, they look great. But you could, you know, there's so many variables, you guys. This can be really fun. But there it is. So it's about wrist length. The, the cape is on this side. And then it has a little tail over on this side. Isn't it cute? I just really like it. And a myriad of fabrics you can do it in. That's it. All right, you got it. All you gotta do is pay attention to A, B, C, D, what button's in. I've got the sides all labeled for you. You can do this. So it's about, it's a yard of fabric and it's about an hour of fun. And that's it. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.